Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Emma and we've got Beth. But don't just sit there, my wee cherry pies. Come on, get moving. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? We are going to build a racetrack. Just put them like that. That's good. Are we ready? Vroom, vroom. See how fast we can go. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, you're crashing there. Oh no. What's <laughs> the There's a triangle. Well, we've got Emma and we've got Bear. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh yes, it's Lisa with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina! Oh, and Lisa! <laughs> oh, what's this, Lisa? Oh, it looks like rally car driving. Oh, it is. We've been having a great time, haven't we, girls? But now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. How about dressing Claude up as a rally car driver? And we can park our cars over there. Beep, beep! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I've got Lisa's cycle helmet here. Oh, yes. Well, you did say you were taking her cycling today. That's right. Dr Juno's coming round later and we're going on a special cycle. Well, you won't be taking Lisa out on the road, will you? Oh, no, no. She'll be quite safe. We'll keep to the cycle lanes because I always keep to the lanes provided. Oh, phew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd best be off. Oh, and don't forget that Raymond is going to Lisa's nursery later on today to perform as Mr Cushion. Oh, I love Mr Cushion. I'm bouncing up and down like this. <laughs> I can't wait. Three o'clock sharp, straight after our cycle. Yes. Will you look at Claude? Oh, Ooh. rev it up, Claude. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you could win a rally dress like that. Well done, cherubs. <laughs> oh, is that for me, Lisa? It's a hanky. Why is there a knot in it? To remind you. <gasps> to remind me. Oh, well, I won't forget you, will I? Or any of you. This will also remind me to pick your daddy up to take him to your nursery to do his show as Mr Cushion this <laughs> afternoon. Are you fun with Granny Murray? <laughs> Come on, Tina. Bye-bye. Now remember, always keep to the lanes provided. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit and which way's a miss? Hey! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Hello, flower. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Thanks for helping me get to work. Okay, right now it's time to get changed for work. All dressed and ready to go. 
OK, I have got a lot to do today, but I mustn't forget about taking Raymond to the nursery later on. So it's good that I've got this. And this is also helping to remind me to do the weekly checks on the taxi. Tina, taxi driver. Hello, Mickey John. Oh, hi, Tina. Well, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I mean, shouldn't you be at school? Oh, well, Mr Grant, the head teacher, gave me some time off, so I thought I'd do a bit of research into what people actually do in their jobs. Uh, but yours is easy, you just drive around in a taxi. Well, yes, but there is more to every job than meets the eye. Oh. Yes. I mean, I don't just drive. Oh, no. I have to clean the taxi and maintain it as well. Maintain? And you're in luck today, because today is the day I do my weekly checks. Ooh, checks? Tina? Oh. Now, I have to make sure everything is in good working order. So first, the tyre pressure. That's OK. What else do you have to check? The oil levels, the water levels and the screen wash. Oh, now this is very interesting. Is that at the right level? Perfect. Yeah. Now, I can see that all these checks are really important. Well, yes, but the most important thing is once the checks are done, that I get everyone to where they're meant to get to at the correct time. Ah, correct time. Well, thank you for giving me this insight into your work, Tina. It's been fascinating. Well, I'd better be off. <laughs> Bye, Mickey John. I wonder how my little girl's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Right, everyone. Before we go on a bike ride, it's really important to check that everything's working properly, yeah? So we're going to check the front brakes and then the back brakes. Good. And then you're going to check that your tyres are pumped up nicely. Squeeze, squeeze. OK? And finally, check that your handlebars are straight. Once that's done, we can get a move on. Oh, Lisa, do you think Mum checks her taxi as well as we checked our bikes? I hope Tina. Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Well, I was just thinking about Lisa. And now I'm just about to take the taxi out. So how are the city roads looking this morning? I'm fine. But I'd avoid the Cow Market Lane area. There's roadworks on every corner and there's a really bad traffic jam. Really? Mm. Well, I must remember that. Well, thanks, Bobby. OK, bye. See you later. Now it's time for me to get on with some hard work. City roads are waiting. Ow! The traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on trapping, and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi. Get into the back and just relax for the She's going for a drive. Look in the mirror, shift that gear. Pull out to the busy lane, my pretty big taxi takes the strain. Oh, the radio calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi, oh. In a city, in my pretty pink taxi, yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Ride, 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 hey, where you wanna go? Cause I need to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. People wave me down and relax for the ride. for a cuppa. Ah, but before I have my break, I lay Raymond's Mr Cushion costume out for him. <laughs> He's bound to be in a huge rush between finishing work and going to nursery. 
and he always gets a little bit nervous before a show. Hmm. But he's so adorable in his Mr Cushion costume. It has to be one of my favourites. Sons of the sea, bopping up and down like this. Sailing the ocean, bopping up and down like this. <laughs> oh, I won't forget you, Mr Cushion. And I won't forget my little girl either. I love to skip in River Sea Pinkle, River Sea Pinkle, that's for me. Try and stay in the cycle lanes. Well done, Lee Starling, you're doing really well. Oh, it'll soon be time to go and see your dad as Mr Cushion, won't it? I hope your mum remembers to pick him up in her taxi. Don't forget to bring Daddy to the nursery, Mummy. I'm here, love. <laughs> Great timing. My train arrived exactly on time. OK, but we don't have any time to waste. OK, my costume. What would I do without you? <laughs> Yikes! We'd better get going. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, oh. I'll take the shortcut round by Cow Market Lane. Traffic jam? It's roadworks. Well, what are we going to do? I've been working hard all day and now well, we're stuck in this traffic jam because of the roadworks. Oh, what did I do wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's house to drop Lisa off for the day. I reminded Granny Murray that Raymond was going along to Lisa's nursery at three o'clock to perform as Mr Cushion. Lisa gave me a knotted handkerchief so that I wouldn't forget. At nine o'clock, I remembered to do my weekly checks on the taxi. Mickey John wanted to observe me at my job. He found it very interesting. At 10 o'clock, Bobby warned me to avoid the cow market lane area because of roadworks. At two o'clock, Raymond rushed in to get ready for the show. I took a shortcut so that we wouldn't be late. But now it's nearly three o'clock and we're stuck in a traffic jam. Well, what can I do? Now remember, always keep to the lanes provided. Always keep to the lanes provided. Well, of course. Bobby told me about the roadworks in Cowmarket Lane. And if I'd kept the lanes provided, we wouldn't be stuck. So all I have to do is keep to the special taxi lanes provided. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a short time, she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm going to do it. She's going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the time. I'm going to sort it. She's going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. You look wonderful, darling. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> They're going to love you! Here comes Mr Cushion. I wish I could see our little girl watching the show. Bobbing up down like this, sailing the ocean. Bobbing up and down like this, they may build the ships, me lads. Bobbing up and down like this, but they can't beat the boys of the old brigade. Bobbing up and down like this. Bye. Tina! <laughs> Come on, we in. Look who's here, Lisa. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. 
<laughs> Hello. Did you have a nice day with Granny Murray? You betcha. Yeah. Well, you say thanks to Granny Murray. Oh, Thank I'm you, Granny Murray. Thanks, I do. <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. I always keep to the lanes provided. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, you want to be home. <laughs> Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? No, it's my time away. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning. really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a rally car driver because the children had built a rally racetrack and enjoyed racing their cars around. When Tina came with Lisa, she reminded me that Raymond would be doing his Mr Cushion show at nursery this afternoon. Before we went for our bike ride, Dr Juno said it was very important to give our bikes a good check over. So that's what we did. We all had a lovely, safe bike ride along the cycle lanes in River Sea Fingal. And then we went to the nursery to see Mr Cushion. Tina got Raymond there on time and we all had lots of fun bobbing up and down with Mr Cushion. When Tina came to collect Lisa, she told me that she had remembered that I said, always keep to the lanes provided and it saved the day. Oh! <laughs> I think I need to sit in a cushion after all that bobbing up and down with Mr Cushion. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Stephen. But come on, my wee pickles, let's dive into Granny Murray's dressing up box and see what we can see. <gasps> What's there, Rachel? <gasps> These are Granny Murray's old dressing up clothes. You would suit that. <laughs> that could be a dress for you, couldn't it? Oh, and my old pink coat. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Stephen. But someone's missing from home today. <laughs> Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, yes, it's Rudy and Jack. Hello there. <laughs> Rudy, hello. Hi, Granny Murray. And Jack. Oh, I've been squeezing. <laughs> Come on, my dad. We've been having a right laugh in here today, Rudy, dressing up and playing with my old clothes. Oh, sounds like a right hoot. Oh, it has. But listen, now you're here, Jack, why don't we dress Claude up in my old clothes? Oh, and I tell you what, Granny Murray, why don't we go and rest our old legs on your comfy seat, eh? Less of the old you. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you know, Granny Murray, all these old clothes reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to get all my big brother's hand-me-downs. Oh, so you know what it's like to wear other people's cast-offs? I do, but I didn't really mind. And Jack, he hasn't got any big brothers or sisters, so whenever he needs something, he gets it brand new. Oh, that can be an expensive business. Oh, <laughs> dead right. And I'll tell you what he needs at the minute. A new windjammer. A new what? A windjammer, you know, like an anorak. Oh! A cagoule. Yeah, just something to keep out the wind and the chills. Well, I tell you what, why don't I take Jack to Nicholson's department store and buy him a new jacket today? Oh, that'd be great. But, oh, you'll need some money and I haven't got any on me at the minute, so maybe I could meet you later. Brilliant idea. <laughs> I'll meet you at two o'clock outside Nicholson's. It's a deal. Well, you look at the time now. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, speaking of wearing my brother's clothes, I once had a school blazer that was so big it came down to my knees. <laughs> oh, Rudy. <laughs> oh, and if you think that's funny, Granny Murray, you should have seen me in this old PE kit. Listen, you'd better keep oh. an eye on your time. You're going to be late for work. <laughs> oh, I love a chatter, Granny Murray. <laughs> Yes, maybe, but sometimes less chatter gets things done. <laughs> yep, suppose you're right. I'd best get to work and start selling some fruit and veg if I want to buy Jack that windjammer. 
<laughs> oh! <laughs> so, what does Claude look like? A walking jumble seal. Dad? Yes. I've got a pair of them for you. Oh, pair of gloves. Very smart. Oh, they're my old ones, darling. <laughs> look at these holes. I don't think I've got enough fingers to fill all these holes. <laughs> I'll put them in my bag anyway. Take them with me. Right, you want to give us a cuddle, Jack? Ah, little rascal. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Come on, you. <laughs> See you later. Come on. Now remember, less chatter gets things done. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today I'm walking me shoes through the city views I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms And I'm singing my way through the city's charms I get in there, it's just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know But can you tell me the way I go? OK, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? OK, that way, to the market I'm on my way to work today I'm going this way and that away Hello cobbles, hello train Hello roadworks, hello tram Hello sweeper, hello van Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know Now what? Oh, that's right, I need to get changed for work <laughs> All dressed and ready to go. There's the gloves that Jack gave to me. Good morning, Rudy. Oh, hello, Mickey John. How are you doing, mate? What have we got there? Oh, a pair of Granny Murray's old gloves. £2.50 a kilo. Do you want a bunch? <laughs> <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Can I have a bunch of bananas instead? Hey, when I took Jack round to Granny Murray's this morning, all the children were dressing up in Granny Murray's old clothes. Oh, crumbs. I hope he likes dressing up in his new windjammer. He's going shopping for one this afternoon. But yeah. Can I have my bunch of bananas, please? He loves dressing up as a pirate. <laughs> oh, what a laugh. Arr, Jim lad. <laughs> bananas? Oh, Mickey John. Bananas, bananas. Oh. Here come the bananas. Sailing across the seven seas. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> That'll be a pound, please, Mickey John. OK. <laughs> At last. Huh? Oh, sorry, Mickey John. Did I slip up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Oh, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. See you later, Mickey John. Come on, folks, get your salad here. The best dressed salad in all of River Sea Fingal. Oh, seems a little quiet today. <laughs> Hope Jack's having as much of a laugh as I am. I love to skip in River Sea Fingal, River Sea Fingal by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Fingal, River Sea Fingal, that's for me. I like fire engines because they put out fires and, um, I am afraid of fires. But you don't need to be afraid of fires when we've got fire money and you're always careful. We have fire alarms. Hey, look, I got it. I could not have. I haven't got any more for it. <laughs> oh, what about this? No, oh, Jack, you're a wee chatted box, just like your old dad. Are you having fun, Daddy? <laughs> Hey, Bobs. Hey, what are you up to? Oh, just dashing around the shops. <laughs> dash, dash. Hey, how's Kai? 
Oh, he's fine. Listen, I'll come back later for a chat, OK? Oh, Jack, he's hilarious these days. Is he? <laughs> I wonder where he gets that from, eh? Ooh, not from me, Bobby. Seen the not heard. That's me. <laughs> Listen, I moustache, OK? Oh, Jack, he's got this guitar thingy at the minute. I mean, it's not a real guitar, Bobby. I mean, it plays a song when you turn the knob. It's pretty crazy, but he sings along. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, what's that song he's got now? Haven't you got any work you should be getting on with? Oh, well, not while you're yakety yakking away all day. <laughs> hey, does Kai collect stickers? Listen, I'll come back and have a chat later, OK? Okie dokie, Bob. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, now that's Bobby out the way, I'd better get down to some hard work. <laughs> and do be do be do. I make it look easy What I do be do be do And what I do is sell to you and you and you All of the veggies for a stew But it's more than meets the eye What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat and the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh the market, the market What a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place <laughs> Hello, Louis. Hope you've been working hard. Early days. Hey, did you hear the one about the parrot who thought he was a dog? <laughs> Look, I really don't have much time, and Bill will be here any moment. Oh, Bill the potato merchant. What's your bill? Oh, I am out. How much is it, Bill? Rudy, money. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we've both been busy, haven't we, love? Is this all you've got, Rudy? Yeah, love. Hey, Bill, my Louis's been a rocking and a rolling, <laughs> haven't you, love? Just enough. Oh, greatest trumpet player I've ever had, Bill. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> See you, mate. Bye, Bill. <laughs> God, he's a chatterbox, isn't he, that no, Bill? No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you off? Right, so. Oh, and you better get down to some hard work and earn Jack his supper. See you, love. Oh, wonder how Jack's getting on today. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh. Don't worry, my darling, we're a wee bit early. Daddy will be here to buy you a new one jammer any minute. Oh, oh Granny Murray. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Hi, Jack. <laughs> uh, are you waiting for someone? Yes, we're waiting for Rudy. He'll be here any minute. Well, I'm just popping along to the market. I'll hurry him along if I see him there. Oh, thanks, Bobs. No problems. See you later. See you later. Bye, Bye. Bobby. You see, Jack? Bobby's going to hurry your dad along. He'll be here any minute. <laughs> Are you selling lots of things, Daddy? He's a great lad, is our Jack, Dr. Juno. You, know? you know, when he was born in the hospital, the nurses said they'd never seen such a beautiful baby. I'm sure. Oh, he loves dogs, loves your Samson. Look, I better get going, Rudy. Oh, no, 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 Doc, I'm telling you, he loves dogs. Hey, Rudy. <laughs> oh, hiya, Bobby. Just tell the doc here about our Jack. Bye, Rudy. See you, Bobby. Oh, bye. Whoa. I think Dr. Juno was in a bit of a rush. She certainly knows how to chatter, does Dr Juno? Uh, no. You know how to talk, you chatterbox. Chatterbox? Yeah. Granny Murray and Jack are waiting for you. They're outside Nicholson's store. <gasps> of course. I was meant to meet them at two o'clock to buy Jack a new windjammer. OK, Bobby, let's go. Oh, but wait. I haven't got any money to buy Jack a windjammer. What went wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I took Jack to see Granny Murray. The children were all dressed up in Granny Murray's old clothes. I told Granny Murray that Jack's old windjammer was getting a bit too old and that he needed a new one to keep out the wind and rain. Granny Murray offered to take Jack to Nicholson's department store and I arranged to meet them with the money for the new jacket later. 
At nine o'clock I started work. Mickey John came to say hello and we had a good old chat and a laugh. At ten o'clock Bobby popped by and we had a good old natter and I told her all about Jack. At one o'clock Louis came to help me pay Bill for my market stall potatoes. We had a good chat but I only had just enough money to pay Bill. At two o'clock I was chatting to Dr Juno when Bobby arrived. She told me that Granny Murray and Jack were waiting for me to buy Jack a new windjammer at Nicholson's, but I had no money to pay for it. Now remember, less chatter gets things done. Less chatter gets things done. Of course, Granny Murray was right. I've spent far too much time today chatting and not enough time working to earn money. Give us a hand, Bobs. No problem. I need to earn enough money to buy Jackie's windjammer. It's, it's a, a race, race against, against time. time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he know how to fix it? Will he know how to fix it? Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh wow, we've sold a lot of fruit and veg in double quick time, Bobby. And now I've got enough money to buy Jackie's new jacket. I couldn't have done it without your help. Oh, I think you could, Rudy. You're great at your job. And I don't think you should stop now either. You're on a bit of a roll. Oh, but what about Jack's new windjammer? Oh, don't worry. I'll take the money over to Granny Murray. Oh, thanks, Bobs. <laughs> That's what friends are for. <laughs> oh, uh, Bye. See you later, Bobs. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what kind of windjammer Jack will buy. Here we are. That'll keep out the wind and the rain. And it'll make your dad really pleased. That's right. Come on, over better hurry. He'll be home to pick you up soon. Where are you, Daddy? Daddy, come away in. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Dad. mate. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time with Granny Murray. Yeah, we certainly did. Go on, say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, a pleasure, my darling boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me. Less chatter gets things done. It saved the day. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Well, we'd better get you two home. <laughs> Come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. <laughs> Me too. Bye -bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in all my old clothes because we were having a great time this morning dressing up in old clothes that I don't wear anymore. Rudy told me that Jack needed a new windjammer to keep out the wind and rain. We arranged to meet outside Jack's favourite shop later on. Rudy went to work and Jack spent the morning playing with his favourite toys. We had a good old chat about them. Later on, Jack and I were waiting for Rudy when Bobby came along. Bobby said she'd head over to the market to see if Rudy was still there. Bobby came back with the money for Jack's windjammer. She told us that Rudy was too busy working to come shopping. Rudy remembered what I told him. Less chatter gets things done. And he was working so hard that he could pay for Jack's new windjammer. Shopping for new clothes is fun, but it's even more fun rummaging through my old ones. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to sip and river sea tingle, river sea tingle, bye. I love to sip and river sea tingle, river sea tingle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city.